Dragons. Today is Tuesday. It's December 21st. It's the 88th day of school. We're only here till 10.30. My name is Mr. Butcher. It's my job to keep you safe, even if it's just a half day, uh, so that you guys can show us how excellent you can be. Hopefully, you've left your average at home or on the bus, and you are ready to have a respectful and responsible day. Speaking of responsibilities, our first responsibility, even on a half day, is to be ready to show respect for the rights that we have in this country um, and at the school. We do this by daily saying the Pledge of Allegiance, our school pledge, as well as doing our moment of silence. When we do our school our pledges, we want to stop what we're doing, stand up tall, put our hands over our hearts like this, say the pledge loudly, clearly, and with pride. If you guys would please stand for the pledge, remain standing for the Kennedy School Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Kennedy School Pledge. I pledge myself as a Kennedy Dragon to be ready for the day ahead of me. I'll be respectful of myself my teachers, and all others I meet throughout the day. I promise to be responsible for myself, my actions, and my learning. I'll work my hardest to be the best dragon I can be. Another responsibility that we have each and every day is to try to keep each other safe by slowing down the spread of germs. We do this by frequently, which means plenty of times, more than three or four times a day, washing our hands. When we wash our hands, we want to make sure that we're using soap and water, or if you can't get the soap and water, you can use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. When you wash your hands, you want to make sure you get all parts of your hands, the palms of your hands, the backs of your hands, in between your fingers, your fingertips, your wrists, and your thumbs. When you wash your hands, you want to be doing it for at least 20 seconds. Let's model what that looks like now. Let's get the palms of our hands, two, three, Four, five. Get the back of our hands. Two, three, five. Get the back of our other hands. Two, three, four, five. Get in between our fingers. Two, three, four, Get our fingertips. Get our other set of fingertips. Get our thumb. Our other thumb. Wrist. Be nice and clean. All right, it's time to recognize those that have birthdays today and the December birthdays over the break. We'll do our January birthdays when we get back. So birthdays today. Happy birthday to Braylon Williams, who's 11. Happy birthday to Braylon Moore, who is 9. Happy birthday to Jocelyn Jones, who is 10. Also today, Miss Stancil has a birthday and Miss Shed in the cafeteria has a birthday. Tomorrow, the 22nd, Happy birthday to Ariana Lee. Uh, Ariana will be nine. Happy birthday to Hayden Tate tomorrow, who will be 11. And on uh, Wednesday, Thursday, the 23rd, happy birthday to Matthew LaCorey, who will be 11. Prince Elijah Muhammad Louis Nero will be seven. Uh, Dylan Zhang will be six. Also two on the 23rd, Demetrius Lee will be 10. Uh, also on the 23rd, Kenneth Fisher Yancey will be six. And then on the 24th, Christmas Eve, Landon Holland will be 11. Uh, Eric Wilker Dean Wilkerson will be six. And Miss Jackson will have a birthday on Christmas Day. Paul Kwasa Kwasi will be nine. Uh, uh, Emmanuel Nitscoto will be uh, 10. Also on, nope, that's all our Christmas one. The day after Christmas, the 26th, Brantley Lowry has a birthday. He will be uh, uh, nine. Joseph Lohr will be seven on the 27th. Also, Bentley Perry will be eight on the 27th. And Andrew Dixon will be 11 on the 27th. On the 28th, Towns Jones will be six. On the 29th, uh, Ozio Quijada will be 11. Oliver Nealon will be 11. Uh, Annie Fando will be, Anne Marie Fando will be 7. Uh, on the 29th, Bryce Hobson 
will be six. And Mr. Newpert has a birthday on the 30th. Chloe Smith will be 10. Uh, Grayson Lee will be nine. Also on the 30th, Joseph Quin Quinonas Tavares will be nine. Also, too, Miss Santiago has a birthday. Miss Chup has a birthday on the 30th. And Mr. Vu has a birthday on the 30th. On the 31st, New Year's Eve, Jessica Daly is going to be 12. Tony Lore will be nine. And Tyson Wilson Turner will be seven. Happy birthday to all of you guys. After we do birthdays, next responsibility, make a lunch choice. You don't have a choice today. You're getting a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. If you can't have peanut butter and jelly, they'll give you something else. Get it on the way out the door. We've been doing the 15 days of crazy holiday books and STEAM activities. And we said that every teacher and every student that participates, their name will be in a drawing to win the books. We're getting ready to do our two drawings. We're going to do a student drawing and a teacher drawing. The winner from each drawing will get not just the 15 books that we read, but 10 more for a total of, look at all these books, 25 books. So here is our drawing for our student. Okay, it is time to choose the winner of the uh, books for the 15 crazy days of um, holiday books and STEAM activities. Every student's name um, who's class participated is in here um, so I'm going to hit it right now and we will find out which student is winning all 22 books so here we go who will it be it's going round and round and round and round who will it be it's gonna be Kaylee Yang in third grade great job Kaylee Yang so congratulations to Kaylee Yang and Ms. Stancil's class. And now it's time for our teacher drawing. They'll get, I know it says 22, but 25 books. Here we go. It's now time for our drawing for the teacher who gets the 22 books for the participation in the um, 15 days of crazy holiday books and STEAM activities. So here we go. Who's it going to be? And... The winner is Miss Creech. Congratulations, Miss Creech. All right, time for our morning message. Today's the last day, half day, going home for the Christmas holidays. And today's message is about responsibility and peace. For Christians, the words peace on earth, goodwill towards men are part of the Christmas celebration. And around our globe during the holiday seasons, millions will be working and praying for peace. Most people want peace. They want peace in their homes, in our schools, in our neighborhoods, and in our world. Listen to what our 34th president, Dwight D. Eisenhower, had to say. Only fairness, respect for one another's feelings, and cooperation can lead us, to, lead us all to new peace that will last forever. During this winter holiday season, let's all work towards peace on earth by being fair, kind, and cooperative with one another. Something to think about on Mr. Butcher make today your masterpiece or not. Enough said. All right, it's time to model what, our, what it should look like when you're wearing a mask. Like when you get on the bus, you have to wear a mask. So let's put our mask on. Make sure it's on over our nose, over our mouth. Make sure that it's covering our chin. You guys have a great day. That is all we have for announcements, so please help me. Me and your teachers keep you safe. That is our job. And your job is to help us keep you safe. And you can help us by being a ready, respectful, and responsible student who is focused on graduating in the year. Because when you are a ready, respectful, and responsible student focused on graduation, you are a committed to student, student success. success. I love you very much, Harry. We made it to day 15 of our 15 days of crazy holiday books and STEAM activities. We're day 15. Whoops, there we go. Perfect. Uh, we're up to day 15. I've been saving this one for last. It's called A Silly Millie Christmas. 
It's uh, written by Sherry Wall and it's illustrated by Ilona Stotts. So this is our book for the day. Um, it's a good one. It's funny. I love dogs. Uh, this is a great name. The biggest dogs there are. Um, and you're going to love this book. So here we go. A Silly Millie Christmas. It says, To our four-legged friends everywhere, the small and the tall, the shaggy and the sleek, with huge hearts of goals, each one is unique. Follow Silly Millie on Instagram at Silly Millie the Dane. So this is a tr this is about the adventures of a tr real life Great Dane. So here we go, a Silly Millie Christmas. I have a great name, a Great Dane named Millie. She poses and primps, willy nilly. Dressed fancy for guests, she wants to impress. Oh Millie, you make Christmas silly. I have a Great Dane named Millie. She fogs up the glass all willy-nilly. Frozen at the window, longing for some snow. Oh, Millie, you make Christmas silly. My dog does that, looks out the window all the time. I have a Great Dane named Millie. She waits for our friends willy-nilly. From upstairs she can see as they fill the entry. Oh, Millie, you make Christmas silly all excited about seeing people coming in with presents. I have a great na Dane named Millie. She greets all the guests all willy-nilly. Mistletoe hung hanging high, big dog kisses will fly. Oh Millie, you make Christmas silly. Great Danes have huge tongues so a Christmas kiss from Millie would be slobbery. I have a great Dane named Millie. She samples the food all willy-nilly with squares of French toast and a bite of the roast. Oh, Millie, you make Christmas silly. I have another dog named Georgia. She eats, tries to eat everything off our table. I have a Great Dane named Millie. She decks all the, hill, all the halls willy-nilly. Through branches of pine, she'll spy as we dine. Oh, Millie, you make Christmas silly. I have another dog. I have three dogs, and my third dog, Apollo, is a little one, and he tries to get in the tree as well. I have a Great Dane named Millie. She checks all the plates willy-nilly. Dinner tables work best. Heavy mug needs a rest. Millie, you make Christmas silly. I have a Great Dane named Millie. She begs for a snack, silly, willy-nilly. She'll sit on command for treats from my hand. Oh, Millie, you make Christmas silly. I do that with my dogs, too. I make them wait for the treat. I have a Great Dane named Millie. She helps serve dessert willy-nilly. Pushes bowl round the floor till there's whipped cream no more. Oh, Millie, you make Christmas silly. My dog Dakota does that. Pushes her bowl all around because it keeps sliding on her. I have a Great Dane named Millie. She licks and laps willy-nilly. Cool refreshment she stole from the porcelain punch bowl. Oh, Millie, you make Christmas silly. Unfortunately, I have two dogs that drink out of the toilet too. The porcelain punch bowl. I have a Great Dane named Millie. She unties the bows willy-nilly. Digs through boxes and bags because she can't read the tags. Oh, Millie, you make Christmas silly. I have a great dame named Millie. She romps in the cold willy-nilly. Small talk starts to bore. She darts out the back door. Oh, Millie, you make Christmas silly. I have a great dame named Millie. She jingles her bells all willy-nilly. Christmas Carol, she howls, oh, through her slobbering jowls. Oh, Millie, you make Christmas silly. Any of your dogs sing? I have a great dame named Millie. She sneaks through the house willy nilly. Is she naughty or nice? I don't have to think twice. Oh, Millie, you make Christmas silly. What do you think? You think Millie's silly? naughty or nice? Probably a little bit of both. I have a great dame named Millie. She spreads joy and love willy-nilly, wishing holiday cheer and a happy new year. 
May your Christmas be so very silly. Silly Millie. And here's a picture of what Millie actually looks like. That's a big dog. Today, tell Christmas book, uh, Christmas jokes. Let me hear them. I love them.